So we're back at it again. Today we'll look at the concept of over trading. We are still on working capital management. Excuse me. So we'll look at over trading. Yeah. And we want to look at this. Uh, it's a troublesome concept for some students. I want you to see it this way. Let's discuss over trading. In these categories, we'll look at what is the problem because it is a problem. Note that over trading is a problem. So, what is the problem? Think about a doctor and a patient. A patient has a problem and has gone to the doctor. Then, when the patient gets to the doctor, the doctor will need to find out what are your symptoms. So we'll look at the symptoms, which means what will you see? How will you know that a company is over trading? It's very important. You know how to identify those symptoms. When you know the symptoms, then you can actually also talk about the causes. Why you are having those symptoms? And finally, what is the solution, which is the prescription? The doctor will recommend. So you are the doctor, you are the finance manager. You need to know what is the problem with our trading. Why is it a problem? What exactly is the meaning? What will you see for you to conclude that a particular company is over trading? And what is the cost? And when you know the root cost, then you can prescribe the solution. So what is over trading? It's a, not so complicated. Over trading just means that a company is not able to settle or pay, yeah, settle or pay its immediate obligations, usually the suppliers, yeah. Suppliers, sure, you can relate with that. So you have a company, yeah, that is growing so much in turnovers, but it's not collecting its receivable, so it doesn't have cash. Yeah, so and no long term funding as well. And what do you see? It's not able to pay its immediate obligation, and that is why it is also referred to as undercapitalization. That's another word for overtrading, under capitalization. So the question exam I ask you to discuss or explain the concept of undercapitalization. The same thing is asking you is to talk about overtrading. It's the same thing. So take note of that. That is the what. So we've dealt with this. So this is what we've dealt with it. Now let's look at what is the cost? I think we should talk about the causes first before we go to the symptoms. Because there are just two major causes. Two major causes. And once you know that, you can talk about that trading any time. The first one is fast, fast or rapid increase in sales. So, you have a company that is selling so much, so much, maybe has offered a lot of promotional sales, um, so many discounted sales that are really making customers to come and patronize him so much. But to the extent that some of these customers don't even have enough money, but they just feel like, okay, there's a free sale going on. Most times, what happens is these companies are selling on credit. Because once customer knows that you can buy without paying now, they will buy. They want to collect. They just want to collect the goods. Because there's no pressure to pay. And that is where the problem comes from. Because mostly it's on credit. And the, the cash is not coming for the sales. The second reason, which is the second cause, yeah, 
is loss of permanent funding, which I will call long term funding. And you can as well relate with this. If you are not collecting your receivable, but if you have long term funding, that can actually sit in for you depending the time that you get your receivable as cash. But if you don't have long term loans that you can use to manage your business and you're not able to collect your receivables, you're running to actually a very deep pit and very dangerously. Yeah, most times that is why you see company going down. Liquidity is the next problem. So all of this will affect your liquidity and once your liquidity is affected, you will not be able to do this. So which means you don't have cash to settle your obligations and that's a problem. And sometimes this activities yeah of over trading i also say it in a way that you understand is when you buy more than you bite more than you can chew right you shouldn't bite more than you can chew nobody does that so any company that does that is also asking for the trouble now let's look at what are the symptoms because in exams you must be able to conclude whether a particular company is over trading or not that is actually the most common um, way of testing this part. You're going to be given a financial statement and the examiner is going to ask you that you need to conclude whether company A is over trading and if so, what are the solutions? Yeah. Basic exam question goes like that. Right? So, how do you know that a company is over trading? Usually, what you do is you use some ratio analysis to determine that. So you need to be able to compute some ratio and interpret them, right? So the first one is your current ratio. If you remember current ratio, that is equals to current asset over current liability. And like we always say, the ideal current ratio yeah, is what you want to see is you want to see two ratio one. So which means you want to see double of that uh, uh, liability being your current asset, and anything outside that uh, usually it costs is a cost for alarm. You want to check to be sure everything is fine. But usually once this ratio is less than two ratio one, uh, you can start thinking that uh, this company might be trading dangerously, right? So. When you have a current ratio less than two ratio, two ratio one, it's a symptom, bad symptom. Yeah. Another one is a quick ratio. Quick ratio is also another ratio that is used to measure uh, liquidity of a company. It's more even brutal than the current ratio because this is looking at very liquid asset alone. And you know the formula for that is your current asset. Then you have to deduct your most liquid current asset, which is your inventory. Then divide all that by the current liability. Right? So this ideal is ideal ratio is one. That is what you want to see. One. One ratio one. That's what you want them to be. But sometimes it's not like that. And if it's less than one ratio one, then it's a problem. So that is when you know that this company might be biting more than it can chew. Another third symptoms you can look out for is the bank balance. Yeah, this one you need to interpret it appropriately. One way to look at it is if the bank balance is reducing, yeah, so it's reducing, it's a signal. If it moved from being a positive balance to overdraft, yeah, yeah. So overdraft, it's bad. Then also, if the balance we are talking about is even overdraft and overdraft 
has increased. Then that's also terrible. Maybe when you look at all of this, you will see that these three items all pointing towards reduction in bank balance. Yeah. So that's a bad signal. Another signal that you can check out for in the financial statement is to calculate your payable days. Yeah. If there's an increase between last year and this year, the company is over trading. Likewise, you can also calculate increase in sales as a percentage of the previous years. Yeah, rapid increase is also a bad signal. You will, sometimes you will see companies increasing their sales by 100%, 200%, 300%. Yeah, if that happens, then you need to remember it's, a, it's also part of the courses. So when this you see this, you need to quickly check one or two other ratios to conclude. Yeah, one in isolation might not give you that conclusion, but when you're able to see two or three of these symptoms in a particular company, then it's really a bad signal. And that is uh, how you know that a company is over trading. So we've talked about what is over trading. We said you don't have enough money to pay your immediate obligations, that is over trading. You don't have enough long time um, um, funding to take care of your business, yeah, that is over trading. And symptoms, I've spoken about the symptoms. You need to do a ratios, current ratio, quick ratio, less than the ideal ratios, or you have increasing account payable days, or your bank balance is reducing, overdraft is increasing, or sales ratio from previous year, increase in sales has gone up so drastically. Uh, that uh, that's uh, that uh, that has your symptoms. Then uh, having gone through the symptoms, the causes, and definition, what is the solution? Because for every problem, there has to be a solution. And guess what? For this one, is very simple and straightforward, and it's just one solution. And from the cause, you can always test, but you can also justify one 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 or two other solutions. But the biggest one, yeah, is the fact that you need to source for long-term funding that's actually your major and the best solution for over trading go get long-term funding get long-term loan until you're able to collect your receivables yeah but like you know if courses we said there are two courses yeah lack of long-term fund which is this one go and get long-term funding and we also said fast uh, increase in sales so which means if you cannot get long-term funding you can as well just slow down on your trading activities you can slow down trading activities slow down production and slow down selling yeah so that you don't run into trouble so because the more you produce the more cost you incur on your raw materials your suppliers you'll be owing them so much and when you are owing supplies so much then you have more to pay and more pressure on you so slow down production and trading so that those are the two ways I think um, if you do this to your over trading problem will be fully solved yeah yeah and I think um, that is it for over trading um, in my next video I'm going to do the part C of the question with the no solve on over trading and we use that to solve this until then see you later always like my videos put your comment if you have a question put it there and yeah subscribe and share the link with your friends as well yeah thank you